Hello everybody, I'm Ministorum here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we continued our work down here in this little region of the galaxy that we've been working on for a little bit. We are establishing our first colony in this region, in the Clemens system. Actually, a lot of these habitable planets here are very, very good. So we'll probably be establishing more colonies down here. We're also working on our excavation site to figure out what the enigmatic pattern is all about. And we've got some progress on that, so that's pretty good. And yeah, just continuing our upgrades and enhancements as we continue to wait for opportunities to present themselves. So that is what we are going to just continue working on for the day. And, uh, we'll see. Our ships have been made superior. What we can get up to. We got new armor tech, so that is what our current upgrades are doing. Uh, we finished the core of the Mega Shipyard. We're trying to get the actual shipyard itself done. Um, we are building the Mega Bore. And the last component of that is needed. And we'll see what we get out of that as far as actual crystal generation. One thing I'm probably going to do here is go to the market, go to consumer goods, and we're going to unload a couple piles of consumer goods. That is still ridiculously expensive. We'll wait and see if we can get we that price to come down a little bit. Oh, we've got pirates in the Groombridge 34 system. Right there, huh? 5484. The enemy is targeting one of our stations. Uh, those defense forces are not going to uh, I enhanced the size of the interface and something isn't really working correctly there. Oh, it's all right. What is the closest fleet? It's one of you. All right. First fleet. Go take care of business. Avalar Prime. Oh, and the other thing that we are doing is we are beginning to build an Ecumenopolis on Volkia. Or Volkia. There it is. It'll take a little while. Alright, our continued studies of the massive skeletal remains on Roger 6B have managed to shed some light on how the creature ended up on the moon. There are very faint residual energy readings that indicate some kind of dimensional portal existed briefly toward the rear of the skeleton. Science officer Kunrig Dentelnik theorizes the creature passed through this gateway from another dimension only to quickly perish in the hostile environment of Roger 6B. Why it did this and where it came from are questions that may never be answered. All right. Well, I think that you are now 
you're excavating the archaeological ruins. You are not doing anything, and I don't think you have anything else to do. So, experimental subspace navigation. Scientific breakthrough achieved. And what do we got? Another cohesive star that we can explore. Uh, go for it. That's only two ships. One raider and a galleon. This is 15 corvettes. See if 15 Corvettes can stand up against a single pirate galleon. It's, it's knocked down its armor and shields. It's got a lot of hull to chew through. After successfully firing a micro wormhole from the event horizon, the destination was. Reached inaccurately, the destination explored, the Brewer system. Okay, hold on just a moment. Yeah, you ended up way, way far away from where you needed to be. Um, get that experimental subspace navigation going. So, uh, Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the scaling of the uh, interface back to where it was. Interstellar assembly, I'm not that interested in that. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Yeah, because this is just. Not working for me. Ah, my fleet has arrived. Ooh, that was a nasty shot. It was one shot that almost completely wrecked the entire hull of that ship. Beginning attack run on enemy station. Construction complete. Yeah, yeah, that, that beam from the Titan is ridiculous. Alright, well that's, that's good. That's real good. Alright, how long is it going to take you to get where you need to be? Mm hmm Six years? Yikes. Okay.
Well. Give me another science ship, I guess. Alright, for industry, we're going to take our research speed industry. Sure, why not? Alright, ancient probe. Right, right, right. We got this one as well. Bad news. It's unclear at this point whether it has anything to do with our team's mistake or not. But the drone suddenly came online when our scientists were investigating. The drone appeared to scan our scientists and emitted a certain signal, then disappeared. Our team is clueless as to where it might have gone and how. All we have left is the signal. Well, go ahead and analyze it. Can I reassign the scientist who's on the Magellan? I don't think so, and I wouldn't think so. All right, well, let's just recruit a new one. Let's try this again, shall we? Now, what are we looking like here? That's better. It gets us closer. A few months, we'll have the 10,000 we need to get this going. Everyone's constructing gateways. Situation log updated. All right, this time we managed to actually hit an unexplored system. The system name is Royal. Is it not part of this constellation here? It is, but it's over there. Okay, interesting. Go ahead and get that system surveyed. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Yes, I'll just keep unlocking mega structures. Why not? Six fleet and first fleet need to continue upgrades. Oh, reality code sentient metal. What's this? All right, it's about the enigmatic pattern. Okay, after the return of the crew, both the enigmatic pattern sequence fragment and the sample of substance which makes up the amplifier were passed to our scientific institutions. With the help of the samples from inside the amplifier, we were able to learn much about the self-replicating alien substance. It is composed of an array of hyper-advanced nanomachines which are capable, able to replicate themselves and together 
can mimic many different forms of matter and physical and chemical properties. The way this substance behaves makes it almost appear that the substance is not only alive, but even sentient. It is able to react to numerous different environmental conditions, with all its reactions being dedicated to adapting to the condition and ensuring the integrity of itself. Different forms of reactions have been observed, replication, rearrangement, and reshaping in order to make the substance immune against any kind of damaging physical or chemical uh, effect. Extreme heat, cold, and corrosiveness, intense electromagnetic fields, different forms of radiation, mechanical pressure, lasers, even gravity. There seems to be no upper limit to the efficiency of its adaptive abilities, at least none we are able to determine. Other than its ability to transform and multiply to preserve itself, the construction is also capable of growing. Its replicative abilities come in two different forms. The first form of replication appears when the substance needs to adapt to damaging environmental effects, at which it appears to be able to replicate itself out of nothing, perhaps by absorbing the energy or matter of the damaging effect itself, or by using an undetectable energy source. In this case, the substance doesn't. Uh, the substance doesn't, or only insignificantly, increase. It. That's a weird sentence. The second form of replication appears when the substance has adapted uh, to any damaging effects and is in contact or close proximity to available matter or energy. It absorbs these to increase its volume to grow and can apparently absorb almost any known form of matter and energy. Only gravitational energy, dark matter, and quasi-negative mass could not be absorbed. What the purpose of this growth is is unknown, but based on the reports about the amplifier, it didn't happen inside the amplifier itself, even though... Our crew and their tools were in direct contact to the substance appears that the substance is capable of being aware about its environment and depending on the circumstances react differently. Our scientists decided to name the substance sentient metal or as an antho analogy to living metal due to its similarities. Even though we still know almost nothing about the substance, or rather how it works, our scientific community is convinced that it possesses an unimaginable technological potential and they want to intensify our research on the substance and also the amplifiers, not only to find out more about the enigmatic pattern, but also about the sentient metal. Alright. That was a long explanation. Anomaly found. All right, we've got what? In the royal system, and, and until now, unseen type of world has been located based on remote observation and scans. It's probably a toxic world, but direct investigation is necessary to safely determine the planet type. Uh, leave it be for now. We'll come back later. Our crystal megabore is finished. Our crystal megabore has been fully completed in the solar system. Equipped with a gigantic orbital laser beam, it has pierced this world's crust and mantle and reached into its very core. Massive amounts of crystals and minerals are now being pulled out from the planet's hellish center, which will surely be very useful to our industries. Marvelous. Dismiss that. Does it tell me how much production we're getting? 110 minerals and 50, 50 rare crystals. Now that is nice. Now we just need this. And so that thing is done. Means we could probably start planning another mega structure somewhere. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Get the mega shipyard done. So I think we got that um, sentient metal event before I saw this. 
It took quite some time to access the object, but the wait paid off. After many different attempts to find a way into the object, the crew used a combination of gravitational waves and a frequency and amplitude that mimics the enigmatic pattern in hopes that the object would react to it, and it did. One of the surfaces on one of the surfaces of the object, an um, entrance manifested. The crew entered and found something inside that could only be described as a mechanism of incredible complexity. They studied it for a long time just to find that this mechanism was an additional blockade for the real entrance, some kind of identification checkpoint. They needed advanced computational assistance to solve the mechanism. We're, we're, we're successful nonetheless and were granted access. Inside, he found a hyper complex technological system. That's very description, descriptive. After an intense study of the system, they are able to determine the initial function of the structure. It is not the source of the enigmatic pattern, but it serves as an amplifier and repeater for it. The sequence appears to be transmitted via gravel gravel electromagnetic waves to the edge of the solar system, where it, through an unknown mechanism, enters some form of faster than light travel. It might be possible that the alien object which is located at the edge of the solar system, the primordial stone, might have something to do with it. A distinct code sequence fragment of the enigmatic pattern that appears to be compatible with the original code sequence that was discovered long ago has been extracted from the amplifier object by the crew. Besides this, they have also made an astonishing discovery in regards to the composition of the amplifier object. Tests on the inner composition of the object revealed that it is made of a unique, self-replicating and self-regenerating substance similar to living metal. The crew was not able to determine what the substance is composed of due to the lack of necessary equipment, but it may possess a large scientific potential. For that reason, the crew took a sample of the substance for further analysis. Right. We already got that event. All right, Citadel of Faith. So if we are going to do another mega structure, what would I want to do first? We've got a lot of choices. The Valdari have awoken to their psionic potential. Atmospheric purifier construction sites. We could try and do that at Venus. Well, we just need the actual alloys. Geothermal stabilizer that turns a molten world into a habitable one. Macro atmospheric stabilizer. No, what I actually want to do. Our ships have been made superior. I actually want to do. Is we would want to build a lot of habitats. Orbital Arcology. A small ring world around a planet providing additional district slots, more expensive for larger planets, but they bef benefit more. This is what I would be thinking to do. Alright, you start heading over here. The Moij Huxkin swarm has insulted us. Ah, eh, so be it.
All right. I got what I needed. Build the orbital arcology construction site to get that going. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Black budgets. Mega structure influence cost minus 50%. Sure, why not? Scientific Our ships have been made superior. Alright, I want that to actually start construction. New deposits found on Trappist 1B. New high quality vein of ore. That's good. make sure that these aren't anything I really need to pay attention to. They don't appear to be. Penury Mandate broke off the research agreement with the Proc of Consciousness. Well, the Penury Mandate, I think, is in a lot of trouble. They are finally starting to occupy more of their stuff. Scientific breakthrough All right, Clemens Prime has been established. Super solid shaping theory. Sentient metal tier one. Our ships have been made superior. Unlocks building sentient metal foundry. Archaeological site finished. Our scientists have successfully analyzed the signal and contained coordinates which pointed toward our home planet. We should investigate the coordinates. Track the coordinates. Epilogue archaeological site at Volkia. Really? Alrighty then. Let's get... um. Let's get you. Go ahead and hit the epilogue archaeological site, which is where? Man and Colony Ruins. No, oh, that's an archaeological site that was finished. Yeah, that one's done. Now it's showing up. Okay. Go ahead and excavate the site. Our ships have been made superior. All right, and you are working on that orbitable arcology construction site. All right. Our ships have been made superior.
I wish I could see like exactly how close they are to winning. Oh well. I can just kind of observe. And there's only a few penury mandate systems left. Three occupied systems, it would appear. Surprised that uh, they're still holding on. All right, well, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. There we go. So far, so good. Some interesting things going down here. And here we have another star system, which is producing very, very interesting results. All right. Are you... Hold on. Are you doing anything? You are not doing anything. Begin heading in that direction. All right. You need a shipyard. And I guess a trade hub. We're going to start sending colony ships over to these uh, these other planets here. All right. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here. So, for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.